each post away from the rest. Drop them in. I don't know what each clove. A clove is each one that's wrapped up individually. And they're all in a circle, which makes a bowl. Not these ones. We're going to plant these, but they're not from the ones we planted. You see, they're already starting to grow. We're late in our garlic planting again, but you can plant garlic pretty late in Georgia and still have a good crop. So we are I not, not we are not too worried about planting late. It'll still be good garlic. Here, here's a big one. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> what you got there, Liam? A toad. A toad? Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> I'll pat it. Why don't you go let him go over there? I want to pat it first. Uh -oh. oh. Oh, no, that's sorry. So what are you doing? Getting some troughs ready for the sugar cane, which it's really wet. I really shouldn't be planting it, but I've been putting it off too long. So sugar cane cut in sections. Each one of these will root on each of the nodes. Set them in the ground sideways, bury them under a couple inches. It's pretty easy planting. I'm a little worried about the moisture level, so I think I'm going to leave the holes open tonight and let it finish draining and not bury them until there's a little less water in there. That makes sense. I don't want them to rot. Good thinking. And I'm going to plant the garlic. I'm just going to go down all these trenches that I just dug with my boys. And I'm going to place a garlic clove every couple of inches. And then we're going to cover them. rain. No wonder why the garden is soaked. Brian's gotten down to the end planting the garlic. Little Autumn is enjoying her chickweed salad. She loves that stuff. I think that's her third helping. She's just like the boys. Got sugar cane all the way down this bed. It's kind of 
crooked and curvy, but that's all right. Um, we're not looking for perfection here. We just got to get things in the ground at this point. I'm going to leave it uncovered tonight so that it can finish draining and those ditches will dry out a little bit. Ryan's getting all the garlic in the ground. He says we're going to run out of room, so he's planting them pretty close together. We're going to hopefully be able to get all three rows and just planted close together because that other bed is not looking like I could just plant in it. It looks like it's uneven, like not made into a four foot bed at all. So hopefully this will work. If not, we'll interplant somewhere in this area. All right, guys, I just spotted something down here that I just can't wait to reveal. Looks nice and big on top. Oh, <laughs> it was the same ball. I thought I was going to pull out this big long carrot. Look how big it is on top. That carrot was lying to you. It was, but look at that beautiful color. This must be the cosmic red, which tells me the cosmic red is okay with germinating in high temperatures because most of our carrots didn't germinate. And I was wondering what that row was. That's the one that did well. Or it could be one of the purples actually, but it's definitely a cute little short back here. I'm gonna eat that liar. Look guys, look what I found. I just washed it off in a puddle. Is that good enough for you? That's good enough for me, I'm gonna taste it. Do you wanna taste it? Mmm, try it. That good? You want to try? Sure. It's really sweet. Yeah. Really sweet. Right. You want to try, Ryan? Sure. Mmm. One more. How yummy is that? <laughs> Don't talk about food in your mouth. Hey, you are full of vitamins. They might help your legs get strong. Here, I'll let you think about it. Sneak it. Look at my perfect angels sunning themselves. Look at them. Beautiful goats. They're all chewing their good. Hey, who likes carrot tops? Precious. And Blossom, they're sniffing. No, how about you, fancy girl? I'm surprised. I expected you guys to be excited about this. Nope. There you go. How does it taste? It's delicious, isn't it? Meh, mediocre, I guess, huh? Let's see, Dominique wants it. Nope. So, while Ryan is getting the last of the garlic in the ground, I grabbed a pitchfork and I filled up the gorilla cart with some unusable hay. It was hay that we got last summer. Um, it was a round bale that had broken and so we got it for free. And we thought it was good feed hay. And then we thought, well, if it's not, we can use it as bedding. Unfortunately, it was during the time that we had the, some type of mildew or fungal infection. Some type of toxicity was going through our herd and killing goats. So I 
would not, could not use any hay that even had the slightest resemblance of mildew or mold. While I didn't see any mildew or mold on the hay, it had a musty smell. And I said, nope, you're not using it for food, you're not using it for bedding, we can't take any risk. So our intention was to make it into garden material. We just haven't gotten to it. Here it has been over a year later. And we're finally getting it out of the barn and into the garden. So it's gonna make a great mulch for this garlic and the sugar cane as well. Almost got them all? Yep. How many are there? Just a couple. A couple more. Doing a good job, boys. Yep. So we ended up with about five rows instead of three, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Think we'll be able to eat this much garlic, Ryan? Maybe. Think we'll have enough to sell to our subscribers? We'll never have enough. <laughs> There's no such thing as too much garlic. It's true. We're gonna just hide it. All right, I'm gonna start garlic. covering up that side and put more hay. Liam, Liam walking like a swamp thing. Some of these aren't very deep, but I guess that's what you get when you hire three year olds to plant garlic. Oh, I love garlic. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. We have a good amount of hay to put on top of all of this shell planting, so it should still be all right, I hope. Better than nothing, and when you got kids helping, it's worth a few shallow plantings. I think they're going to be fine. All right, boys, I think we got it. I sure am grateful for all your help. I wouldn't be able to do it without you. Thank you. Yeah, we're gonna get our tree up, get it ready to be decorated. It has been a great day to get some things planted. I'm really fortunate that they were here to help me. I haven't been feeling good. I am out of my thyroid meds. They are on back order and I didn't plan accordingly. So I've been on a half dose for the last week and now I'm completely out for the last three days. And I'm really feeling it in my brain functions badly. So if this is a break in videos, until I get okay and straighten the head again. I hope that you guys enjoy this. And I'll try to keep up with you on Instagram, on our Facebook group, Wholesome Roots Farmstead Friends, and on the community page on YouTube. I'll give you updates about how Autumn's coming along. I don't expect any major changes with her legs anytime soon. I've been doing some research, um, looking at the possibility of a reoccurring floppy kid syndrome. So we are treating her with baking soda um, the fact that her symptoms disappeared and she was walking and running normal and then they came back. The only, only 
symptoms like that that I have found in my research is floppy kid syndrome. Even though she doesn't meet the reasons for cause the floppy kid syndrome, because she definitely is never over eight, I'm going to treat it like that and keep moving forward and keep trying to keep her healthy. Whatever's going on in her body, I know it's not neurological, I know it's not physiological, or it's more physical. Ugh. So anyway, I'm doing my best and I'm gonna keep doing my best. Thank you guys for watching. You know the drill. We'll see you next time on Wholesome Roots. You got stuck. You real stuck this time. All right, let me hold the top of your boot. On the count of three, we're gonna pull. One, two, three, pull. Oh, <laughs> all right, I think it's done playing in the mud. <laughs>